My name is Simon James and um, I'm a children's writer and illustrator of picture books. Picture books are about good ideas um, and when I found an idea I'll start to map it out in lots of little boxes on the page which will depict the pages for me in a book and I'll start mapping out my idea and I'll see if it's got a beginning, middle and end. And then the next stage is to make something like a little booklet which will be like this because the next stage is how I will want to see the pages turning. With picture books it's very important to conceal information and then encourage page turning and then reveal. It was really my imagination that kicked me off into thinking about stories and writing and reading really. When I went to school I think I was taught that everybody had a talent in something somewhere, you just had to find it. And I felt sure that my talent, if I had anything at all, was just imagination and to hold on to it from a very early age. I was very sure of that. So that's what took me into um, making things, just making little uh, stories and, and getting uh, excited about lands I would create. So now I'm ready to finally draw the finished pictures and I will begin to draw the face. The face is the most important part for me and there are lots of times when I don't get the face perfectly right and I have to throw away the piece of paper. But if I'm lucky, the face will come out right and I can carry on with the rest of it. The face is the most important part because that's what the the part that people relate to and see first of all when they look at a picture and then their eye will tend to go around the rest of the picture. And I'm just drawing this. This is still not, believe it or not, a finished drawing. It's just simply the final sketch. Okay, so now I'm happy with that picture. I'm going to take it over to my light box and draw it again on watercolour paper with my dip pen. So now I've finished my sketch and I'm ready to do my final drawing on my light box. And the reason I use a dip pen is because I can get thick and thin lines very easily. I'll show you what I mean. I'm not doing a tracing because a tracing is a dead drawing to me. This is a new fresh drawing and the sketch underneath is just a guide for me so I don't waste too much watercolour paper. So I can see the drawing underneath. I'm not tracing, I'm just hitting it, help me draw the picture. Okay, so I finished the drawing and I'm ready to paint. Baby Brains was a, uh, was a delightful idea that came, which, which is a thing that reoccurs to me often, which is where children hold the keys, hold the answers to to a problem perhaps that adults can't, can't see through. Um, and I like the way that innocence sometimes can, can uh, come through with an answer where complicated, convoluted ideas of an adult can't really quite grasp. So the fact that Baby Brains was a baby who had brains but also innocence at the same time and would come up with his own answers uh, really appealed to me. Okay, so that's the finished picture and I'm ready to sign it at the end. I hope you enjoyed looking around my studio. I'm going to carry on and do some more drawing now. <laughs>